What's up, everybody? You know, it's your boy Donnie, Ambitious Z, by those that used to know me on Instagram. <laughs> but today, I'm gonna be doing a full inspection on my car, and we're gonna be ripping apart the motor that I just picked up. I'm gonna be ripping that apart and taking out the cams. For those of you that don't know that, uh, the G8 um, Honda Fit, they're known as Jazz too, right? Yeah, like Honda Jazz. Um, this is from the year 09 to 13 But these motors basically uh, They have the cams um, that our CRZs need Those are basically um, the spoon cams that Spoon Sports took and rebrand So I'm gonna take the cam and the whole cam assembly and all that stuff and I'm gonna transplant that into uh, my CRZ so that is the poor man's uh, basically spoon high revving cam you know installation for cheap i picked up this motor for 300 dollars. it's a full long block so i'm just ripping apart the head i'll probably take out the manifold and you know just paint that in the valve cover and just have that as spares and i have a bunch of other spare parts i could use probably from that motor because i think in all honesty both of the motors are exactly the same it's just that we have the six-speed transmission and the hybrid unit on was it made it to our uh, a long block I mean short block but yeah for now I'm just gonna start ripping it apart and I'll update you guys on it but this is project zero v2 and I'll see you guys next time okay guys um this is a little note for those of you that are doing the GE8 intake manifold swap. Make sure when you swap the intake manifold, or if you buy one, that it says the... Alright, let me focus it. Uh, RB1. That's technically, well, the spoon intake manifold, you know? But from a Honda Fit. You don't want to mix it with the older generation uh, intake chamber because that's more restrictive from what I've read or heard. So when you do that swap, make sure you do that. And I got a couple other things coming through too, like the stock CRZ's, uh, what is it? Throttle body is a uh, 50 millimeter. If you don't want to spend that $1,000 on the, the spoon uh, version, you can either take your stock one and send it out to Max Bore and they could, uh, they could uh, bore it out for like $100, but you got to ship out your, your thr throw out, what's it? I mean, your throttle body for like a week uh. or so. <laughs> but. Other than that, um, or you could do the cheap way, which is the way that I did. You could just buy an R18 uh, A1 throttle body, which is a 55 millimeter. Uh, the difference between that is that Max Bore can make your stock 50 to a 55 for $100. Spoon comes with, uh, I think, 56 millimeter, so it's like one millimeter difference. So I don't know if that really makes amazing power off of 1.5, but Spoon's $1,000. Max more is hundred dollars, or you go on eBay or the junkyard, and you might be able to find an R18 throttle body just like me. I got mine for ten bucks, so it's coming in, and I'm gonna swap that in when I do get it. But other than that, this is basically what my motor looks like for now. It's supercharged for those of you that don't know on the Jackson racing kit, and there's a bunch of other. But once I'm done with my rebuild, uh, I'll do a walk around of everything I've done to it so far. Don't hate me because I'm recording in low light. But let me use this right here. All right, there we go. Okay. We got a little spotlight. This is in my uh, brother's garage. In your side? But there's his S2000 right there under the blankets. And no, I'm not a Green Bay's fan. <laughs> but yeah, there's my car right now. We're gonna check all my joints because uh, I'm basically gonna do a refresh before I hit the track. Net. Well, this later on this year. Gonna check my tie rods and the rods, ball joints and all that stuff. I'm probably gonna replace all that stuff while I'm doing the motor and all the clutch. And I gotta go back for a retune. K Tuna's life, that's my boy Renara. He left the Honda life for Alexis. <laughs> so fuck that nigga. <laughs> fuck you. I do what I want. Alright guys, so I'm gonna start ripping apart the, the G8 motor. And I'm gonna take the intake manifold off. You know, I think these are 12s. Let's see, 2, 4, 5. <coughs> five 12s to get off the intake manifold. And after that, 
I'm gonna go take the valve covers off. I mean valve cover, not valve covers. Um, oh shit, they gave me the spot plugs. I can use them. <laughs> Let's see the conditions of them. I mean, hopefully the NGKs keep them as spares. All right, guys. Um, we just ripped apart everything on the the block. It's a trash bucket. Got all the parts over here that I'm keeping and back there. It just uh, comes this off. This is basically what I want. You gotta take this whole side off. Like yeah. Crank bolt. I'm gonna take off the side the cam off. assembly and the cam shaft is in the middle. That's all I need from them. Pull you off. Alright guys, we got the G8 cam out, uh, aka Spoon Cam. It's really oily right now, but that's that's the, the holy grail of this motor anyways. <laughs> <laughs> got that out, you know, basically you don't really have to rip anything off. All we did was uh, we basically popped off the cam cap mil. and there's a 14 mil that goes into the timing gear. So yeah. technically you don't even have to hold that. It up then you here. push it, you unbolt that before you gotta hold that flywheel. I mean, this, yeah. Then you have to take this cap off over here. This, once this pops off, once you take that 14 off, you can kind of just pop it off the cam gear and you just slide it through. You this thing down with minimal spirit, man. Yeah, you slide that through and it just comes right out. Other than that, you keep this uh, whole uh, what's it, valve chain. You're all good. Hey guys, we just got done ripping apart the whole motor. So it's all in pieces now. We've got the block right there, we got the head, oil pans over there. I got the intake manifold, my cams, well, the cam, and the cam assembly over there with the valve cover. That's what I'm keeping and what I bought the motor for initially so I could swap into the CRZ. Other than that, we're just ripping this apart for fun and games. Okay guys, we just got done um, ripping the whole motor apart. The block is gone. I think my brother's keeping that for, uh, you know, turned into a table or something. And we took whatever pieces left and, you know, just stockpile them somewhere. I'll end up what I'm keeping is some random parts over here that I, I just want to replace on my car. Um, it's just sensors and stuff. A bunch of sensors and uh, brackets. I got the RB1 G8 manifold over here. I got the G8 cam and the cam assembly with the valve cover. That, I'm getting rid of. I don't need that. But this is a majority of everything I'm going to use for my swap with the, you know, the spoon cam, basically. And that's the oil pan. I'm going to keep that just as a spare, just in case if anything happens to mine, I'll have one. And the other bag is the, the head without the cam. I'm going to keep that just in case anything happens to. So Overall, I got all this for like 300 bucks. I bought the whole motor and just ripped it apart instead of buying it separately, which probably would have cost more money. And I got a bunch of random parts that I could keep as spares. But other than that, I got to order the gaskets and a couple other, like, couple other pieces. And um, I'll start a video on the swap, you know, me converting, swapping the cams in. And after that, I should have a dyno day right after probably like a week or so later because I got to set the appointment but other than that she should be running good hopefully and I should make more power because uh, I want this car to be just a little bit quicker and hopefully those cams will help but I'll see you guys next time on my other video when I do the installation on the car but other than that stay tuned Okay, we're calling it at night. The ticking is mad loud! <laughs>